Hey there, service pros. This is Christian from Workies. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your online booking portal in Workies, making it super easy to book jobs while you sleep. With Workies Online Booking, you can create a page where clients can book a specific service online. You can customize your availability, define the exact information you want to gather, collect any required payments, and even expand the reach of your page using one of our integrations with Google. Let's get started. First things first, let's enable the tool from the Feature Center up here. After that, we'll head over to the Online Booking Settings page. We'll start with some of the basics. Here's where you'll be able to make some simple changes, like setting the page title and description, and showing or hiding your account logo. Next, we'll work on your availability. Your available hours are going to be pulled straight from your schedule settings page. If you've already set those up and are happy with how they look, no need to make any adjustments. That said, you can make any necessary changes here without affecting the regular hours you have saved over there. After that, we'll choose our availability preference. You'll be able to choose from using your tech's availability, setting a default number of jobs per slot, and allowing double booking. Tax availability will look at your team's actual availability to determine what slots are open online. Number of jobs per slot is exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to set a specific and limited number of jobs per slot. Allowing double booking will essentially make all of your slots available at all times. It won't matter if you've already got jobs booked for those times. One more thing I want to point out here is that if you choose the set number of jobs per slot option, the actual number of jobs per slot may be reduced whenever you schedule time off for your technicians. Okay, moving on. Next, we'll decide how much advance notice your business needs to commit to a job. For example, if a client visits your page at 1 p.m. and your advance notice is set to one hour, the earliest time slot they'll see is 2 p.m. This gives you one hour to prepare for the job. If you don't need any buffer time, set this to none. Last thing on availability is selecting the default booking slot duration. This will apply to all of the services your clients book online. You can always adjust the actual duration when adding the job to your account. Next comes the client information you want or need to collect. Some information is required and cannot be disabled. We're talking about service address, zip code, and email address. Everything else, including your custom fields, is fair game. You decide. Moving on, you'll want to decide if you want to collect payments. You can choose between collecting a full payment or a percentage-based deposit. We'll talk more about where these payment totals come from later on in this video. But for now, just know that you'll need to be set up with Workies Pay to be able to collect payments online. Check out the link in the description to learn more. Next, let's talk about some of the advanced options, starting with your ad groups. By default, Workies will give you the ability to choose one ad source that you want to associate with your booking page. You can do that from this drop-down list right here. But let's say you want to promote this page across a few different places, like your Facebook page, or your Yelp page, or your whatever page. You can track these additional ad groups by grabbing your booking URL, that's this guy up here, and adding the and symbol, ad group equals, followed by the ad group that you want to track. So if you want to track your Facebook page, it would look like this. And if you wanted to track your Yelp page, it would look like this. Take the custom URL and then share that directly on the page that you want to track. Just make sure that these ad groups already exist in your Workies account. More on that in the description below. Next, let's talk about how you want to handle new bookings. With Workies, you'll have two options, requiring approval or automatically adding the booking to your schedule as a new job. If you choose to require approval, you'll receive a notification to your message center where you'll need to manually add the booking as a new job or lead. If you choose to automatically add the booking as a new job, you'll still get a message to your message center, but the booking will already be added to your schedule. I'll go with create job. The rest of these options are pretty straightforward. You'll get booking notifications straight to your message center, but you can also forward those to a specific phone number or email address. You can add multiple numbers and emails by separating them with a comma. Last is your thank you page. This is the confirmation page your clients will land on after booking a service online. You can choose to show or hide business contact details. Workies will send them to a pre-built thank you page by default, but if you have a unique page that you'd like them to see instead, you can enter that URL here. If you opt to use the default thank you page, you can also choose to include a booking status message. This way, you can reassure your clients after they submit a booking request. Last part of this setup is deciding whether you want to boost your page's reach using one of our Google integrations. You'll have the option of connecting your booking portal to reserve with Google for free or connecting it to your Google Local Services Ads account if you pay for that. Here, we'll focus on reserve with Google. Reserve with Google allows clients to organically find your booking page when searching for your services through Google Search, Google Maps, or Google Assistant. They'll search for the services they need on Google and be presented with businesses like yours that seem like a match. If they decide yours is a good fit, they'll have the option to book online using this button right here. After clicking the button, they'll get directed straight to your booking portal where they can schedule a service on the web. You'll need to be signed up with one of the Google services before making this work, but setting it up is pretty easy. You'll need to enter your business name, address, phone, and website exactly as they appear on your Google listing. From there, you'll select the service types you want to offer and map them to the corresponding services suggested by Google. For example, I'll take my installation job type and map it to general installation. Next, we'll include an estimated price for each service we want to include, just to give clients an idea of what they might be paying. 
Keep in mind, if this is your first time using the Reserve with Google integration, it'll typically be about 48 hours before your account is connected to Ortiz. Okay, so that's it for basic setup. Next, we'll quickly cover job types and items. Without job types, first thing your clients will see when visiting your booking page is the schedule section where they can pick a booking slot before entering their contact details. But if you enable job types, the first thing they'll see is a list of the services that you offer. And here's where it gets good. You'll remember, we set our availability preference to text availability. And because Workies allows you to assign job-based skills to a user profile, the time slots your clients will see will match the real availability of the techs who have the skills necessary for the job. You can also take your booking portal one step further with items. You'll need these if you want to collect payments during the booking process. You can add all the common items that clients typically need for your services. You can even host specific items within those job types that you added earlier, so that whenever a client selects a specific service, they'll see the exact items that you want them to see based on that job type. They can add all the items that they think they'll need, and you can collect all or some of the money during the booking process. All right, now let's walk you through the full booking experience. A client will visit your booking portal from your social media page or Google, select the service they're looking for, choose all of the items that they think they'll need, choose a specific service time, enter some basic contact information, provide a required deposit, and submit their booking request. You'll receive the booking notification in your message center. Because we set ours to automatically create a job earlier, this booking was already added to our schedule as an unassigned job. We'll need to manually assign it to one of our techs to make sure somebody actually takes care of it. Last thing I want to cover is how to share your booking page. You'll have a few options, sharing the link directly in your social media pages or embedding a piece of code somewhere on your website. Here's what it might look like. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for all the latest on how Workies can help your business grow. Thanks for watching.